All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, I haven't posted in quite a uh, you know quite a while. It's been a few months, um, and you know, obviously, I'm sure all of you guys understand. You know, with the situation going around in the world, um, you know, it's getting harder to get into dealerships and review cars, which is understandable. But um, you know, Denver here, uh, who's a client advisor here at Parkview BMW here in Toronto. Um, has kindly let me come today and review a couple of the cars in the lineup. And when I was, uh, you know, deciding which one to get, um, I agreed with Denver when he said, you know, we should definitely do the 430i. You know, this is one of the newest additions to the BMW lineup. And, you know, quite frankly, one of the most controversial topics in the whole, you know, car world right now. And, you know, speaking about the elephant in the room, um, which, um, you know, which is obviously the kidney grills now. Um, you know, BMW, you know, when the X5, when the, when the, uh, the new generation, the current generation X5, X7, 7 series came out, you know, people, they either loved it or they hated it, but they kind of gone past it. Uh, but I feel like BMW, you know, it's kind of disappointing with this girl specifically. I feel like it's, it's something that will get harder to get used to. And when I say that, I didn't like this girl at all when I saw it in pictures online. But, you know, I got to be honest with you guys, it doesn't look that bad. Um, so, you know, it's, it's either you love it or you hate it. And I'm telling you guys right now that this girl actually doesn't look bad. And when you actually think about it, you know, there is some history to this, right? You know, uh, decades ago, the BMW, uh, you know, the sedan used to have a vertical girl. And also, you know, these are, you know, the, the functional kidney girls as well. So there's some function to it. You know, the p top portion of this girl opens up, you know, when the engine, engine needs cooling or uh, when, the engine, uh, when the car needs to be more aerodynamic, you know, close up and let air flows, you know, seamlessly over the car but uh you know just talking about the car in general this is finished off in arctic race blue metallic this is a new this is the new color uh with for bmw and this is the only color is the, this is the only car that has this uh color the three series doesn't have it and it's definitely a nice looking car you know i'm sure the color is picking up in camera it's definitely a very distinct color um and this car specifically see the two liter four cylinder the turbo four cylinder that produces 255 horsepower and 295 pound foot pounds of torque and could do zero to six to, uh, zero to 100 you know uh bmw rates it at 5.6 seconds when the interior is finished off with uh the the black vernasca leather with the uh blue uh contrasted stitching which is definitely looks nice from the inside we'll get into it for a bit in a bit um and this you know this is one of the first four series that uh, you know that came to Parkview specifically when the car first came out. So in the beginning what B BMW did was um, When they weren't taking factory orders, you know, they're just trying to get the cars out uh, To dealerships. They basically uh, did something called the hair package. They basically made three packages, you know, the hair package one uh, Or HEA package, you know package one package two package three They dumped a bunch of options in them and just sent it out to dealerships. So the specific one has the HEA package one which has basically most it's basically equivalent to the premium enhanced package which is what you would be able to get if you were to order one right now for example from factory you know that's kind of like what bmw does with the premium essential premium enhanced premium excellence now as well which basically ticks off ticks off everything um that you could possibly think of but this one's with hta package one equivalent to the premium enhanced but it's because again bmw just dumps a, a bunch of options into the package uh for this uh you know early production one this one uh does not include the the parking assistant plus with the surround view which is something that you would get in the the premium enhanced package if you were to order one but yeah nonetheless you know it has a bunch of uh those premium enhanced package options like the heads-up display you know the uh the lumbar support the heated and cool uh, the heated uh front seats uh the duals on climate control and whatnot you know heated steering wheel um and all the you know the nice you know the options and uh and this car basically sits at 188 inches long and it's 73 inches wide which is pretty basically pretty um you know class competitive and you know in terms of looking at the gas mileage it's 9.8 in the city 7.1 in the highway which gives you a combined you know rating of 8.7 liters um per 100 kilometers which is definitely which is definitely a good good gas mileage um and which is again compared to the c the, the c300 coupe as well as the audi a5 it's again very competitive as well so now let's look at the front let's start in the front Obviously, this has the standard BMW LED. Um, these come standard. You could also option uh, the uh, BMW laser lights, which give you double uh, the visibility. Uh, in, uh, and the laser lights are only in high beams, by the way. So, you, excuse me, you got to keep that in mind. And you also have the uh, the standard uh, LED fog lights. And also, this comes with the M Sport package as standard. 
you know, BMWs, uh, you know, in the previous generation, even the current generation 3 series, uh, there's M Sport package, which will basically delete out, uh, you know, black plastic around the car, give it more gloss black around the car, you know, maybe a slightly, uh, you know, aggressive diffuser and things like, you know, the window surrounds would be black as well. But this is a 430i. And the 4 Series now does not have an M Sport package option. They just come all standard with the with the M Sport package, which is very nice. You know, you don't have to pay that extra two thousand, three thousand um, dollars to get you know uh, you know nicer looking uh, nice looking exterior. BMW just gives it to you as standard, which is nice. So that, you know that comes with the Amero Dynamics, you know, which is uh, you know like the front uh, openings in the front, and you know the slide <laughs> the side uh, you know vents, the letting air pass through. You know, nicer looking wheels and stuff but yeah it's definitely a nice looking car so let's start with the wheels uh, going around the side so this is the double spoke uh, m wheels they're wrapped in all season tires they're 225s in the front and i believe 255s in the back um and the, they're uh this one's a bicolor so this is a uh, black and silver which definitely gives it a nice contrast to the uh, the black elements around this car at the back you, you can see the black uh the, the blue uh, m sport brakes right um, th that is an option by the way. They, again, this was thrown in the HEA package, but generally you would have to pay I think 500 or 600 dollars for the blue brakes. I, I, I don't think, um, I believe the 4 series you are able to get the red brake calipers, calipers as well. BMW is trying, uh, starting to a, uh, you know, incorporate you know, red brake calipers into their line, which is definitely nice. But I think BMW, the, the blue is definitely just uh, BMW's color. Um, as you can see, you know, this, you know, it's a coupe, you know, a big side door. This is something you would expect. And coming around the back, as I mentioned, you know, the tail lights is definitely one of the best sides of this car. You know, this isn't the M440i, so you have those silver uh, exhaust tips. But um, even even that, you know, it, it it looks nice with that diffuser in the middle. Again, that comes with the M Sport package. And also, um, as you can see, this is the BMW logo. And uh, what I found out actually was there's actually a backup the backup camera is actually integrated into the bmw and denver you know the client advisor was telling me that this is actually one of this is the one of the first bmws to get actually get the integrated uh you know camera like even the eight series or then the two series you know could even they don't have it but it's definitely nice they're usually under and as you can see here you know the fake uh the fake vents here at the back um obviously you know if you look at the side you know this would be for it would make sense for you know the air in the wheel wheel well to kind of you know come out from the side here but obviously there's pretty there's a pretty big gap back there and it wouldn't make sense anyway and so BMW just closed it off but it definitely looks a lot more aggressive again part of that M Sport package as I you know mentioned multiple times so you know already in the back you know this is again the HEA package and the premium enhanced package as well you'll get uh, you know hands-free you know, tailgate so you just kick it under that didn't work there you go kick it under and it would open up and as you can see you know this is the trunk this has about 12 cubic feet of space which is a uh, pretty competitive uh, in the class um, I believe this the C class has the same amount uh, if anything less actually um, than uh, the BMW which is nice um, as you can see this comes with the um, the M the M carpets Cut that that uh, the, the dealership has thrown in uh, but again, hands-free, you know, there's a button right here. You can either lock it if you're done or you can just close it back up. So stepping into the car, again, part of the premium enhanced package, you get the comfort access. So you open it up, you, the window slides down a little bit because it's frameless. It definitely gives it a nice design. That's something that, you know, that's pretty common with coupes. You know, and here is the the uh, black Vernasca leather with the blue co contrast stitching. It's definitely a very a very nice contrast, and it goes well with the the slightly blue exterior color. You have your end side sills as well. Um, you have the M Sport steering wheel, but stepping in, you know, a little step in height, which is kind of expected with the four series as well. It is you know freezing outside today here in Toronto, so I'm gonna you know you know the heated seats are on already, which is nice. And as you can see, this is basically BMW's, um, you know, uh, BMW's co live cockpit display. You know, they put in every other BMW. They also have their uh, BMW iDrive 7. If you guys want to see, you know, an in-depth look at this, look at this, you can definitely check out my X5 and my M340i video. But, you know, again, you know, very similar things, you know, the M Sport steering wheel with a heated you know heated button you have your cruise control this there's no adaptive cruise control in this because it's missing the um adaptive um the um the advanced driver's assistance package rather but uh you know m sport steering wheel again this is something that comes standard with almost every other bmw you have to pay 
uh, to get like a steering wheel like this, you know, to get the M Sport package, which is again, I keep mentioning that because it's definitely a pretty big deal. Um, the BMW throws that in for you, a standard. And you know, part of the HEA package, BMW gave you something called the galvanic controls, which are basically, uh, you know, the, the, the lock or unlock buttons and the window and the uh, driver memory seats, which is again, part of the, the package. Uh, these are usually black plastic in the 4 series, 3 series, and even up until like the X5, for example, it comes with black. The, the buttons are black plastic, the, not the handles, but these buttons are usually black plastic. And uh, BMW offers the galvanic controls so that you can have a more premium feeling interior. It definitely feels like that. If you want to go into the, the headlights, this is very, very similar to the one in the M340i. So definitely check it out. I believe the M340i, the only difference was the M340i didn't have the front uh, fog lights, which is, uh, which makes sense. Um, and overall, just looking inside, it's again, it's very similar to the 3 Series, but I'll still will go over it. You know, this is this comes with the uh, aluminum fabric trim, which is a very it's um it's basically a, uh, there's no texture to it, right? It's more like you know like a printed design on it, which is definitely nice. Uh, almost from far away, kind of looks like carbon fiber, um, kind of not really, but uh, still, um, you know, th this is the, the the dual zone climate control. It is dual zone, but th there's only one fan speed, so I mean, I'm pretty sure dual dual zone should be that you know each customer gets their you know, their own fan speed, their own temperature. E uh, sorry, not customers. <laughs> the, the, each uh, passenger should get their own um, you know, temperature, their own uh, fan speed, their own heated seats. They do get their own heated seats, they get their own temperature as well. Um, and they get their own, um, you, know, uh, you know, they get to choose, you know, which, uh, you know, which direction they want the airflow uh, to go uh, throw at them. But there's only one fan speed, so I mean, I guess it's about 90% 90 per, 90 uh, dual zone, but again, still nice, something that comes in the package, uh, which is kind of what you would expect with, with BMW. Again, you have your two uh, cup holders, which is pretty standard, your 12 volt uh, power socket, and you also have a USB port as well. And I believe this one also has uh, the wireless charging. So if I just take on my phone quickly, actually while I'm taking it, I'll just tell you guys this, because of this wire, uh, BMW also has started doing um, you know, the uh, BMW access key, which is basically you could download the key onto your card and you uh, basically use your phone as, you know, you know, your car key, right? You could come in, if you have your phone on you and you have the key downloaded, you could, you know, start up the car, drive your car without actually having the actual physical key on you. And the BMW also gives you, uh, you know, a key card as well um, that you could use as the actual key, which is nice. So I got my phone out, again, wireless charging. You throw it in there, right? And you'll see in just one second, the light turns blue and it starts charging, uh, which is nice. It works very well. And you would, that's actually the place where you would p uh, put your, uh, your access card as well. And again, uh, the, the, the crystal shifters aren't uh, an option on the, uh, on the 4 Series. It's something that they offer on the X5, you know, X6 and other, um, you know, other BMW, higher end BMW models. But again, it, it, gets, it gets all you want, you know, put it into reverse. And you have your uh, reversing camera with the uh, with the parking sensors on the left. Now again, this has the premium enhanced package. This would come with the you know with a 360 degree degree view, um, as well as that you know that um, that that um, kind of AR type um, you know the surround view of the car that'll show you the you know, different angles of the car on the exterior, which is nice. Um, so that would come standard. This specific model just doesn't have it because this is an early production, uh, but it would have it for sure if you spec out the. Uh, enhanced package. This car also comes with the heads-up display. You know, you can see it. It's right about there. In fact, I can't even see it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, the brightness is low right now, but it's coming on camera. You know, you have, uh, you know, the speed, whatever. You could customize it. You could show your, uh, show your map. I've gone over this in my other BMW reviews. So definitely go check that out. Um, it's definitely very, very spacious in here. I mean, you would expect that it's mainly two seats. And you check out the back, you know, it's basically very, uh, you know, very roomy. It's, it, uh, Denver was actually telling me that the back seats of this car is actually more than, than what you get in the 8 Series Coupe, which is, you know, uh, you know double, do almost double the price of this car. And you get more uh, rear seat room. So if you want more rear seat room, but you want something more, uh, you know, lux luxurious, you're going to have to choose 
something between either the 8 series or the 4 series which is definitely a nice um, which is definitely you know interesting but nonetheless you know you have uh, you know space for two seats it's four it's a four seater you know you can't fit anyone in the middle um, and it has looks like it has decent space I'll get out later in the video and uh, I'll show you guys how I fit in the back Hey, just put this back and I'll start moving back now the seat position that's in the front is uh, you know where I would sit I'm 511 and it moves all the way back and this is I would actually actually move it a little bit forward it wasn't exactly the position I would want it as as you, as you could see you know I have a decent amount of uh, space I have a little bit of knee room and believe it or not there's actually you know this is actually a three zone climate control there's a climate control in the back which is which is hilarious because you actually don't see that manufacturers don't you know do that you know because they, they know the back seats are basically rarely used anyways especially in coupes you know this would be something more understandable in the grand coupe of the 430i but hey be, uh, this is pro again part of the premium enhanced package and you know th they threw it in it is single zone right you know it's not heated uh heated seats or whatnot but you do get your it is automatic climate control which is nice you get two usb c ports right they're they're not the U, the regular usb that you see in the front there's usb c ports in the back which is nice you know you know if you're an iphone person or even android they've been using usb c's for a while now you have a couple of speakers at the back um i don't know if it's just for show or the option speakers i'm pretty sure they are this comes with the high fans hi-fi sound system if you want the heart the highest uh, uh the the best uh, sound system that you could get um in this uh in the four series and even the three series is the harman and Car Carden sound system which is uh only available in the premium um in the premium essential pa uh, excellence package right so uh, you would have to get the excellence package to get the harman Carden sound system all right guys so i've been driving this you know this car for a few minutes now i'm just gonna give my uh i'm just gonna break through three categories just to make it easier to follow uh, you know, first, obviously, we'll talk about comfort and performance because at the end of the day, you know, this is, you know, a Beamer, 255 horsepower, which is still a lot um, for someone who's, you know, taking it for your day-to-day, day-to-day uh, -day driving. And also, you know, last thing, we'll just talk about the interior, overall interior dynamics of this car, the structure and how, it, you know, you know, the interior plays out while driving. Um, but, you know, right off the bat, you're talking about comfort. You know, uh, I'm going to put in comfort mode right now. That's a very everything just calms down, you know. Everything's very smooth. Uh, but the first thing you notice is very quiet in here, and that's kind of like what the customer is looking for, for um, you know, the you know the people who, who who are in this segment of looking for you know four cylinder you know coupes you know entry level cars. Um, that's kind of like what they're looking for, you know, daily driver, you know, going to the grocery store, going to work every day, uh, you know, going to grab, you know, a slice of pizza in the middle of the night. You know, you just want something calm, you know, nothing too crazy, you know, a very, you know, relaxed drive. And it, this definitely you know, checks off all the boxes. Uh, you know, the steering wheel is nice and light. Um, there's a little bit of weight to it on slower speeds, but... Um, you kind of want that, you know, you, you don't want a totally disconnected driving feel. But again, you can't forget that this is, you know, this targets, you know, a group of, you know, customers who just want a nice, you know, light steering wheel. They don't, you know, when they put in the sport mode, obviously the steering wheel gets heavy and all, but they don't want an extremely heavier steering wheel. You know, that's not the main point of it. Sport mode is something that comes with the car, right? But they they will, you know, 90% of the time will be using in comfort mode. They just want a nice, you know, calm feel if you don't want to you know if you have to turn your car a little bit this way to avoid bump on the road you don't want the car to just dart this way you know you just want everything to be nice calm and smooth and the suspension as well the suspension is very damp um i'm not driving i'm probably driving on the worst roads that you could you know possibly imagine in toronto and you know it's just you know it's just riding over bumps obviously it's not like it has an air suspension or anything like that um but it, it's still a very you know very nice you know smooth driving feel and which is someone someone again this is a bmw you shouldn't expect the civic um and this beamer to drive um in the same way this still has very nice damp uh dampness nice suspension but this light very nicely goes over bumps like i have no i had no problem driving those bad roads um and i could i would be fine driving it on a daily basis on those roads because 
there's just you barely notice them you feel them obviously don't get me wrong you feel them you know there's bumps on the road there's a little crap in the road you're gonna, you're gonna feel that but it's not gonna be it's not gonna throw you around in the car like you know most cars do in there but now if we just put into sport mode and you know talk about uh, you know the performance aspect of this car automatically the car you know the engine starts getting it starts um, it's a little bit louder obviously BMW does slightly um, does that pumped in audio but you, it's not really a big difference here um, but automatically you know the gear is a little bit higher the steering wheel is a little bit it's definitely more weighted um, right now I'm in automatic mode but if I were to just um, you know accelerate here very fast at the end of the day even if you're not looking for you know fast uh, performance car you don't want to be struggling uh, you know to be able to you know overpass cars or you know you're you know at a stoplight and then, you know when the green light is uh, says go you know every car is just going past you you're kind of like okay you know let's go let's go let's go or you don't want to be flooring it or half throt throttling it all the time just to get to you know a certain speed you know that's 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 overwhelming for the driver because you know um, you know again more engine noise all of that you know it's not a good driving experience you should be able to pick up speed um, you know just quarter throttle you know revving at you know thousand two thousand rpm so we're at a red light right now when it goes green I'm just gonna floor it and we're gonna see how it goes and we're gonna put into sport transmission something like a six cylinder and you want to get past someone it's not like you know you have pops and bangs or anything like that because you know not that's not not that's not for everyone um, you know everything's like also very like right in right in place you know BMW use their uh, their interiors right now the infotainment slightly tilted that way it's more focused towards the driver which is nice that's something you want it has hey BMW don't turn it off okay good um, you know has all that stuff where you can just tell the car where, where you want to go um, and all those nice features and I've used it you know I've shown it in other BMW in my other BMW videos it's definitely a nice uh, system works well you can change your ambient lighting in that but yeah overall this car is nice you know I again I, I mentioned it I've been driving on very rough roads and there wasn't a time where I felt like oh man this is so rough um, other than the sport mode obviously um, which which still isn't that bad to be honest um, but you know comfort mode which is again the main the where most drivers will be using this it's 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 the ultimate uh daily driver now if you're looking for a sedan obviously there's obviously there's the 330i right but if you're in the market for a coupe the 4 series the 430i makes like a perfect candidate um uh for this uh for this price point and for the segment for that matter